This question is on 1st January 2008 A sold goods to B for rupees 1 lakh received 25,000 in cash first of all sales entry in 2008 in journal in the books of A journal in the books of B draw the proper format in the books of B this will be purchases account debited to A being goods purchased on A purchased on credit from A rupees 1 lakh in the debit as well as in the credit column in the books of B in the books of A that is B debited to sales account on January 1 being goods sold on credit to B same 1 lakh for this he received cash who X or A sorry A received in cash and drew new bills first rupees 45,000 second 30,000 for two months each that is that means B gave in the books of B on January 1 A debited rupees 1 lakh to bills payable account rupees 45,000 for first bill to bills payable account for number 2 bill that is rupees 30,000 to cash account rupees 25,000 being the acceptance given to A including cash if B is giving A is getting in the books of A cash account debited rupees 25,000 bills receivable number 1 account debited rupees 45,000 bills receivable number 2 account debited rupees 30,000 to B rupees 1 lakh being the acceptances of a B received along with cash after that after that both bill duly accepted by B first bill was endorsed to see in settlement of his account for 45,000 first bill was endorsed Hence, for endorsement of a first bill to C by A in the books of A, same date, that is C debited to bills receivable number 1 account, being the acceptance number 1 of B endorsed to C for rupees 45,000. And for this, there will be no entry in the books of B. And again, read the question, second bill was discounted from the bank at, a, at the rate of 12% per annum that is bank account debit discount account debited bank account debited 29,400 rupees discount account debited rupees 600 to bills receivable number 2 account rupees 30,000 being the acceptance number 2 of a B discounted at a bank and discount of rupees 30,000 into 12 percent into 2 months that is rupees 600 allowed for this reason for this entry there will be no entry in the books of a B fine on the due date these bills both the bills were dishonored fine both the bills were dishonored C has paid rupees 100 and bank paid rupees 80 as noting charges we have to pass dishonored entries in the books of B first both the bill having the same date then on 4th March the bill was for 2 months January 1 to February 1 February 1 to March 1 then 2nd, 3rd, 4th March, bills payable number 1 account debited, noting charges account debited to A. Being the acceptance number 1 given to A, dishonored and the holder C paid 100 as noting charges. For this in the books of A, it is B to B to C, B debited to C on 4th March, 45,100 because being the acceptance endorsed to C by A, dishonored and noting charges paid by him, rupees 100, him means C. Next one is, the bill which second bill which, which was discounted at bank dishonored, that is in the books of B, bills payable on same date, both the bills were for 2 months. 4th March, the bills payable number 2 account debited rupees 30,000. Noting charges account debited, it should be rupees 80. By mistake, it is written 55 to A rupees 3055. Being the acceptance number 2 given to A, discounted and the holder bank paid rupees 80 as noting charges. Please make that noting charges rupees 80. And the, in the books of A, B debited rupees 30,080 to bank account 
30,000 AT. Being the acceptance of B discounted at bank, degenerate and noting charges paid by bank rupees AT and the totaling of A spoke is rupees 3,50,180 and that of a B's book it is 2,75,155 make it 180. This 55 noting charge by mistake it is written it is rupees 80.